This power is leagues ahead of most powers I've talked about in the last couple videos. And that's not, you know, crapping on my other videos. It's just, this is the first power I've researched. I'm like, this power is, is incredibly strong. What's up everyone? Thank you so very much for clicking on this video. And my name is Lou and I like to talk about superpowers. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the power known as bio manipulation. I'm gonna give you the good, the bad, and the interesting, as well as providing you with my ranking with this power and who I believe is the best and worst user. So before we begin, I do wanna state there will be minor spoilers in this video and these are just my opinions. So if you feel differently, just let me know in the comment section below. I read them all anyway. With that out of the way, let's stop kicking the tires and dive right in. Bio manipulation or biokinesis, cellular manipulation, body kinesis, it goes by several different names. Basically, the long and short of it breaks down like this. You have the power to manipulate any living creature. You have the ability to completely control it. With this power, you have a bunch of different applications, but the ones that really stick out to me are these. You have the ability to increase or decrease biological healing in yourself or others. You also have the ability to manipulate your pheromones, appearance, and augment or distort other people's appearance and pheromone. You also can do things like induce or cure any disease, including cancer. This power also allows you to do things as crazy as bestow powers to others, augment those powers, or negate those powers. You also have the ability to completely and utterly kill anybody you want. <sighs> Boy, that escalated quickly. There's also the added benefit that you have the power of resurrection. You can also manipulate your own age, causing something that's like semi-immortality or longevity. Just like any superpower, there's always going to be its kryptonite, Achilles heels, whatever you want to call it, or its limitation. The augmentation to any biological function or biological structure may cause a severe amount of pain. Okay, say for instance, you want to grow wings. The process of manipulating your body and having things pop out of your back, like as big as wings would have to be in order for you to fly would be excruciatingly painful. The next limitation I want to talk about is the fact that emotions do play a huge factor in this power. Emotions such as excitement or surprise can activate your powers in like most awkward situations. Next thing we need to talk about is prolonged augmentations or alterations of the body may cause permanent damage. Now, I wasn't too sure about this. I was thinking along the lines of like, uh, uh, if you ever watch the show Being Human, the one of the characters like goes to a semi werewolf transformation and that's kind of an alteration to his biological structure. I think of it kind of like that. So you can't really affect an area for too long or maybe you can, I don't know. It, you'll see a little bit later, but let's just go with like, it'll affect those areas and it kind of sucks. Next thing we need to talk about is that this power does not work on things with, you know, not a traditional biological frame. Like let's say for instance, you go against a robot person or a side, whatever. I mean, you can manipulate some areas, but like non-carbon based like life forms, you have no control over. You can't do anything to them. So it's kind of like your SOL if you try to fight somebody with a non-carbon based body. Let's go ahead and move on to some of the known users. A couple of these characters, I know that they're like super popular because they have huge fan bases, but I just want to go down a list. Starting to list off, we got our character, our fan favorite from our last video, Eunice from Ben 10 Ultimate Alien. She's back at it again. And I swear I don't do this to anybody on purpose. I don't know what happened. I don't know why she's got so many powers listed up there. It's insane, but moving on. Next up, we got characters from the Prototype universe. We have Alex Mercer and James Heller. I myself never have played Prototype, but I've seen the gameplay and I think I get the gist of like how they have this power. I mean, I've seen them do pretty crazy stuff. You also have characters like Even Call from One Piece via the Horror Horror No Me. You have characters like Cars from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 2 via the stone mask and the red stone of, I can't even pronounce the name. But not to be forgotten, you have a couple characters with Bleach, such as, and I'm gonna butcher their names, and I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to bear with me. You have characters like Aringuero from the Espada group from Bleach. You have Zalapado Granz from Bleach. I hope I said those right. If I didn't, just let me know in the comment section. Moving on from there, you got a couple comic book characters. You have Mr. Sinister, you have Apocalypse, which honestly, I didn't know they either one of these guys had this power, but you know, the more you know. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive into my rankings for this power as well as my scores. And I like to break it down into five categories. You have versatility, creativity, DC or destructive capacity, combat potential, and daily use. These are all purely based on my own opinion, so if you do feel differently, just let me know in the comment section. All right, diving in first, we got versatility. I don't see it getting any less than a 10 for versatility. The fact that even if it's limited to just my body, the amount of crazy things you could do to yourself or give yourself is insane. I'll never get sick. I'll never have to worry about, you know, being short or not being as tall as I want to be. Uh, you know, trying to join a six feet club. Next up, we got creativity. On the creativity side, 
I just I don't see why it couldn't get the exact same score. I feel like this power would allow you to expand your your curiosity and creativity because you could just figure things out. Like if you could transform into certain animals or certain things, you could just do certain crazy stuff. Even with all the limitations we talked about earlier, this is still a really cool power and I wouldn't see why it wouldn't just make you super creative or allow you to be super creative. Now DC is where I'm kind of on the fence. Maybe not on the fence. Maybe I shouldn't say that. This is where I'm kind of like, I'm kind of shaky, but I feel confident in my decision to give this a 10 out of 10. Now, personally, even if this power is super limited, let's say you can only manipulate your own biology, you can turn into quite literally anything you want. Let's say you want to change your appearance to look like the President of the United States, or you want to look like a movie star. You can do that. Let's say you want to look like a giant mythical creature, like a dragon. You could do that. Just know this is a 10 out of 10. I, I just can see this power being very, very destructive. And yeah, we'll move on from there. Next up, we got combat potential. And just like I said before with DC, for me personally, there's there shouldn't be any reason this power gets lower than 10 with combat potential. If you think about some of the characters I listed, like, you know, you got uh, Zalaparo Granz, and you got uh, Alinero, and you got Cars from JoJo. Like, they, they utilize this combat-wise, and it's so busted, and they, they were pretty much sweeping the characters they were fighting, like, easily. So, yeah, I just don't see it getting any lower than a 10. That brings us to our final category, which is daily use. Daily use is based purely on the fact that if I got struck by a lightning bolt or hit by or something and was granted this superpower, how often will I use it? This power, despite any limitations that I've listed earlier, it's not going to get anything lower than a 10. Now, this is going to get a little personal. My dog died around October. One of my dogs and you know i love that dog to death she was a sweetheart if i had the ability to resurrect her in that moment i would have done it instantly and like i said not meaning to get personal but if i could cure somebody of like their, their illness like cancers or or any kind of disease they may have i would do this instantly i would use it all the time i just feel like i would use it and i want to make the world better i want to help people out so yeah it's getting a 10 out of 10 for daily use that brings the score overall 50 out of 50 this is probably yeah, it is. This is the first S-Class power that we have on the channel. To me, I can't see this power being with the less S-Class ability, especially utilized in the right hand. It's just, it just a spectacular ability. Last thing we gotta talk about is the best and worst user. Now, once again, these are just my opinions. So if I mention your character is a worst user, that doesn't mean I hate this character or I hate your fan base. That doesn't mean that. It's not a personal attack. It just simply means when it comes to the superpower in general, that your character might not be the best. All right, cool, awesome. So the worst character for me is Even Call from One Piece. Now, listen, I know that certain characters up here use items or they have like cheats to actually utilize this power on others and stuff like that, but they can do more to those other characters. Like for instance, I was gonna put Arinero or Zalaparo Granz, any of those Bleach characters up there because of the way they utilize this power. But we haven't seen a full extension of their powers. And I could say the same thing about Evil Cobb, but I just don't see their power being as devastating as we'd want it to be. Because their powers are devastating, they break One Piece. And that's that's facts. Sometimes Evil Cobb doesn't even know if the power is gonna work out for the better or worse. Plus, taking away lifespans, not a great, not a great sell. Not into that. So you can keep that. For the best user, this character I just researched for this video. I didn't know he was as busted as he is, but when I reveal what he's done, you'll understand. And for me, the best user is Josh Foley, or Joshua Foley, AKA Elixir from Marvel. Elixir is insane. I just, I couldn't see giving him a lower ranking than any other character. And that includes like cars who create, who literally turned his hand into a squirrel, a flower, and let the squirrel just roam. If I'm saying this, this character is better than cars, that is next level. But let me just name off some of the stuff he's done. So Josh has done things like restored someone's heart, like regrew a heart for someone. He's resurrected or damn near resurrected 16 million mutants, okay? He's so powerful that he literally put fear into a disease. He scared a disease, what? He also has the ability to resurrect and kill anyone. He has self-resurrection. He has self-induced like death. He can do anything with his power. That, you can't get any better than that. You can't tell me that's not absolutely busted. Thank you so very much for watching this video to the very end. I greatly appreciate it if you would like, maybe comment down below, as well as subscribe to the channel. I look forward to hearing from you in the comment section, as well as seeing you in the next video. Until next time, take care of yourselves. Peace.